appreciate you pointing out the equity of environment and uh, your concerns for the people. Knowing the people, and knowing myself when I grew up, having, a, uh, having to supply my own insurance, supply my own gas, buy my own car, which I bought for $1,295 for a 1971 Datsun 510 with 141,000 miles on it. I couldn't afford anything other than that. Couldn't afford any better insurance. My mom didn't have an insurance policy. Imagine a 16-year-old nowadays having their own insurance policy, not on their parents' plan. I was in survival mode, which a lot of these people that you're talking about in these communities are in. That's all they can afford. A used gas vehicle to get to their job, to be independent, to live a dignified life where they can sustain themselves. Not because they were told by the government, you will do this because I'm protecting you. But they had a choice. A choice because we trust people more than we trust government. And isn't that what this all argument is about? Do we trust the government to know better what's for our family and our choices, whether it be what we drive, where we work, what our emissions are? Do we trust the American people no matter what the color of their skin is? Or do we trust the American government to be the moral standard of who we are and what we represent? Who do you trust? What is equity? Is equity when the government decides everybody will be equal, or when a person has the choice based on their God-given right to self-determine, regardless of the color of their skin? Choice based on their God-given right to self-determine, regardless of the color of their skin, regardless of their gender, regardless of their religion, that they have the freedom of choice to decide their fate based on their own challenges. That's what this argument's about. Do we self-determine or do we let the American government become our moral standard of what's right and wrong, of what's good for me? I choose the individual over the government. I believe that's the foundation of our government. I believe that's the foundation of our Constitution. And I believe that is the inalienable right that God gave us. And with that, I yield.